What's up everyone, Hooga Chef back here, and today we have a hookah review. It's kind of an old one, uh, it's been out for at least a couple years now, but uh, finally getting around to it. But uh, yep, the Starbuzz Made in USA hookah, hence my shirt, America, and uh, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and get into a close up and show you some uh, features of this and then I'll come back to me smoking. To ask you who you know Please don't make any sudden moves You don't know the half of the abuse Welcome to the room of people who have room for people that they love one day Dark the way Just because we check the guns at the door Doesn't mean our brains will change from hand grenades you never know the psychopath sitting next to you You never know the murderer sitting next to you You think how I get here sitting next to you But after all I say, please don't forget All my friends are here to take it slow Alright, so for the close-up of the Starbuzz Enterprise hookah So you have the actual stem itself uh, Majority of the time when you buy a Starbuzz pipe, it's just going to come with just the stem and the tray. Um, but a lot of the vendors out now are doing whole packages where you get a hose and you get uh, a base as well. This is just a simple can base, so it doesn't really have anything to do with the hookah. Your tray rest should stay Starbuzz, made in 2005, made in USA, blah blah blah. Um, or not made in 2005, since 2005. And then most of them, or the real ones, should have the Starbuzz and the American flag and then some kind of ID code and stuff down there. Um, mine is 02131. I know it's from one of the first batches um, and I'll get into how I know that later on. Um, it has a really like small in diameter down stem, but the thing is the ports for the uh, host port and the purge port are super large if you can see them at all. And then into the actual tray. This tray is actually really rugged. Like you can try to bend it all you want, and it's not going to bend. It's definitely going to hold its shape really well. It's got a little bit of weight to it, not as much as like one of those uh, Lotus trays or something like that. But it's definitely not going to cause you any problems there. I haven't had any problems with leaving coals on this and it discoloring or anything like that. So definitely uh, good there. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to me smoking and uh, get into a few more details of this pipe. Alright, so uh, you already saw the close-ups. This is the Starbuzz Enterprise model. There's a bunch of different models. There's Honestly, I don't even know all of them. I know there's like the Lassie, there's the Endeavor, and a bunch of other names and stuff like that. But there's also a bunch of different kind of uh, classes too. There's uh, there's a chiller model, there's also the extra small models, which are not really extra small, they're just a little bit shorter than this stem. Um, but yeah, I've had this hookah itself for actually about a year, and I've never reviewed it because I actually got it from a tray with someone, and they kind of screwed me over and never sent me the tray. Um, so I've been looking for a tray for the longest time, and Starbucks actually reached out to me. It was actually uh, Alan... Uh, Paganelli or something so shout out to you I'm sorry if I screwed up your last name but uh, he was nice enough to actually send me a tray and he sent me the blue one and that's exactly the one that I wanted to so uh, I want to shout out to him and I told him as soon as I got the tray I would definitely be uh, shooting a review of the hookah itself I didn't want to shoot it without the tray so into the hookah itself as you saw in the close-up it has a really small in diameter down stem now you would think that that would make this hookah restricted but with the really large ports and stuff uh, it's super wide open, um, maybe not extremely wide open, not as much as like a Regal or a B2 or something like that, but uh, it's honestly a really nice draw, like it's one of my favorite draws in hookahs. Uh, it's kind of in between that super open and just mildly restricted draw, and I'm really in love with the draw of this hookah. Uh, now as for the looks of this itself, uh, honestly I do not like the looks of Starbuzz hookahs. They just look like they've been spray painted and stuff. Of course, it's a lot better paint material than just some spray paint, but uh, I personally don't like the looks of them, but I can't argue the fact that they smoke amazing. 
Right now I'm just smoking some uh, AF gum with mint. Shout out to uh, Matthew Piat. And some, I'm using three titanium coals with uh, my alien. And uh, yeah, I mean, you can see I'm getting fantastic clouds. Now earlier I also mentioned that uh, I have one of the first runs of the of this model and I know that just because of the fact that I've seen some of the newer runs and uh, I think they may have changed up their paint or something because I've noticed that the paint especially down here in the black it chips off really easily so if you can get one of the lower numbers um, that might help I don't know if that's a fact or not that's just something that I've noticed but mine honestly has very little paint scuffs or anything like that um, Mainly up there near the tray where the tray goes on and off. I got some scrapes and scratches, but nothing where the paint's really just gone to shit. Um, yeah, I mean, I've had this suka for a long time, and whoever had it before me, I'm not even going to say his name. I mean, there's not really any damage to the suka. It's made to where they're uh, supposedly a five-year warranty from uh, for the person who bought it. So uh, if, like, say, you drop it in the stem like the downstand bins or something, you can send it back to Starbucks and get a new one or they'll fix it for you or something like that. Um, I haven't personally had to send it back or anything like that just because of the fact that I'm not the original owner, so I can't do that, so just be careful. If, if you're the original owner, then you can do that. Um, I've also seen some videos where these hookahs can take some damage. Uh, the people over at Hookah Rush actually ran one over with the car and it didn't hurt it at all. It put some scratches on it, but that's about it. And uh, yeah, that kind of ruined their warranty, so I wouldn't suggest running this over with your car to get a warranty fix. But uh, yeah, as far as I've had it, I've had no complaints over this hookah at all. One of the few things that I don't like about this hookah is, though, is the price tag. Uh, I think it's close to $200 for just the stem and the tray, and I find that really insane. Um, I mean, that's also like the Regal itself, but the Regal, you have some exotic woods and stuff like that, and it's just gorgeous. This hookah, I mean, I'm sorry, but it's it's not pretty to me, but it smokes amazing, so I mean, I can't completely argue with the price tag. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with this hookah. I've had it for a long time now, and I continue to smoke it very often. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't really have much else to say about it. It's made in USA. That's one of their big claims about it. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's definitely a fantastic smoking hookah, and uh, I am sure a lot of you have seen them or smoked out of them by now. This is a pretty late review, but I'm just getting it out of the way, in case anyone wanted to hear my thoughts on it. But, yeah, so I'm going to get out of here and uh, enjoy the rest of this bowl. I literally just threw on the coals, and I'm already getting fantastic clouds. Don't deal with outsiders very well. They say newcomers have a certain smell. You've trusted. So, I uh, forgot to add a few things in there. Most of the big online vendors have this hookah. Um, you have Five Star Hookah, you have Hookah John, and Hookah Dash Shisha. And I'm actually pretty sure that uh, TrifectaTobacco.com actually has it as well. And a bunch of other online vendors. This is a very popular hookah out right now. And uh, yeah, you can pretty much find it anywhere. Uh, also, I forgot to mention. This purge is actually really good. Not even a full breath and it clears the entire base. So uh, yeah, I guess now I'm getting out of here and uh, I'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching.